What is happening, everybody? Welcome back to Dark Horse Sports Cards. You got Brody here for another fun, exciting video today. We are going to be opening up one of the 2023 Donruss Optic Football products on the market. This is the value pack box. So you're going to get 12 value packs in each box. Each of these value packs is around $18 or so. So if you do the math real quick, $18 times 12 <laughs> comes out to be around $216. So pretty pricey actually for this. Uh, to compare it to the other retail products that are out there, you can get right now secondhand, you can get uh, basically three, just under, be a little bit more, be like $240 if you got three mega boxes or a little bit maybe, maybe more than that. Uh, $216, you can probably give out three to four blasters as well. So it is gonna be an expensive rip. So with that being said, if you guys can drop a like down below, I really, really do appreciate it. We also are giving away a Contenders Hobby Blaster to someone as well. So make sure you like, subscribe, appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, that's what we're gonna go after. And yes, you can pull downtowns, mythicals. You can pull all the case hits out of here. I have yet to do so. I probably have ripped we did a video where we ripped like exclusive uh, these exclusively uh, as individuals, not in an actual real top retail box. And I want to say I ripped like 37 of them. Didn't pull a single downtown. So haven't done it. Can we do it today? That is definitely the goal. But we have a lot to talk about. And the first thing, guys, I'm obviously going to be flying up here in a couple hours to Ledgestone, which is in Peoria. Illinois to be playing a disc golf tournament this weekend. But guess who's also flying? Kelsey. Kelsey is going to be flying back to Dallas to be here for the release of Optic Hobby. We will be breaking Optic Hobby. I will be behind the keyboard up in Illinois. She will be live in front of the camera ripping Optic Hobby all night for you guys over on our Whatnot. And hey, if you're like, I don't have a Whatnot account, Perfect time to get one. You can use our link down below for $15 to get in. Um, and basically, if you're like, what the heck is going on? I don't understand what's happening. Real fast, what breaking is all about, these boxes are going to be $1,000, maybe even more than $1,000 a box. Instead of you saying, hey, I'm going to spend that and open it, what you basically do is you're breaking it up with a bunch of other, other people. So we're gonna be opening multiple hobby boxes that you're gonna break up the cost with 32 other people to all, and then you're going to get a team. So it's a good way to open. It's a fun time to hang out. We do have a hollow in here. So definitely go check that out. 6 p.m. East or Central Time, 7 p.m. Eastern. Um, we'll be ra uh, Kelsey will be breaking Optic Hobby for you guys. Is it Bryce Young? Oh, please be. I don't think I've ever hit a Bryce Young hollow. Please be a Brycey. Of course, DJ Johnson there. And then a whole bunch of base. Other thing that we have to talk about, guys. What the heck is Panini doing? Have you guys been seeing these cases of FOTL? Um, they're absolutely juiced to the brink of juicement. I mean, I'm watching one right now. In a half case, they pulled 15 downtowns. 15 downtowns. So I got a couple questions. First one, I would think by how many downtowns some of these cases are coming out and how many hobby boxes. I mean, some of these hobby boxes have three downtowns in a one hobby box. I think the downtown prices are going to plummet. But I think any number downtown is going to go up because they're going to become more rare. Uh, in the sense of there's going to be so many normal downtowns and obviously not that many of the numbered ones. So what are your thoughts on that? And we have my guy AOC. And that looks actually crispy. We might send that one straight off to a little PSA action. I am definitely trying to get as much AOC as possible. I think this guy, is his value I think is going to go drastically up after the first couple games when people see uh, just what the Raiders look like with the start of a good uh, QB, a great defense. They boosted up their defense a little bit. And then Brock Bowers, I think, is going to be an absolute decision uh, change maker 
um, for the Raiders offense as well. And I also love Zamir White a whole lot. I, I was more of a Zamir White fan than I was a Josh Jacobs fan. But back to the downtowns, guys. Um, it's an interesting one because, like, I don't know. It's just when you pull that many, it kind of takes away the little bit of the excitement. Now, I would get it if, like, if there was one God case out there, right? If there was, I mean, they just pulled another downtown. I'm watching it right now. It's, that's like 16 downtowns. If there was one God case out there where there was like 30 downtowns in it, that's one thing. But I mean, there's been 10, 15, 20, 30 cases that have had more than 20 downtowns. There's only 12 boxes in a case. So like these cases are averaging almost two down. They just pulled another downtown. Same box, another downtown. So I don't know really what Panini is doing. Um, the other thing that is, come on. The other thing that is maybe a little bit would be, is going to be interesting to see too, is how the market responds to the other case hits. So does this now make mythicals? Does this now make rookie kings? Does that make those more desirable, right? Like, if a CJ Stroud downtown is absolutely printed to the moon, then maybe his rookie king case hit insert is going to be a little bit more desirable. Okay, we have another green here. Uh, the other question that I have is, um, hold on, I just lost my train of thought. I was, it was th I was thinking too hard. Drew Sanders for this one. The other thing I was thinking too is, are all these downtowns just being basically taken out for hobby? Like, are we going to see any downtowns in hobby? Or are we just going to... Because I have yet to see, like, in these crazy cases, and really in all the FOTL cases I've been watching today, I haven't seen any mythicals. I haven't seen any blazers. And those are coming out of the blasters and megas. And so I'm assuming, are those just going to be... The only case hits that you can pull uh, another downtown, Cooper Cup. Are those going to be the only case hits? Wow, it got me for a second. That got me for a second. Because that would be, that would be I think, kind of sad. If they basically just put all the downtowns in... Um, if they put all the downtowns in the FOTL boxes and everyone that's going to be ripping hobby. Because the other thing, too, is like... I don't know what is this going to do to the hobby boxes is it is it going are people going to think the hobby are going to be juiced up i don't like those colors um and now all of a sudden hobby boxes are going to go through the roof price wise or are people going my pessimistic side we'll take a joey porter jr though are people going to go my pessimistic side and think wait maybe all cases are going to be juiced fotl and hobby and then maybe the prices for that are going to go up. I don't know. But I I would love to hear your thoughts on it. And the weird thing too is, is like the first one I watched, I was like super juiced. I was like, this is sick. Kind of similar to like when we pulled back-to-back -back AR autos, right? Like that was really, really cool. Now, what if literally everyone was pulling back-to-back -back AR autos out of Spectra? Or maybe not everyone, but one out of every five boxes had back-to-back -back AR autos. Like, I don't know. It just gets watered down. So, a downtown, I don't know, man. We'll see. I'm a little sad, Sean Clifford. I'm a little sad. And it's not because, it's not because I did not buy an FOTL. There's a test of that. This guy's, this guy's market's actually surprisingly high. Some of his stuff goes for way more than I would think. For a uh, non-starting quarterback. But um, it's not because I didn't get any FOTL. I tried. It sold out before. It sold out while I was in my cart. I almost got it at the floor price. But it did sell out while I was in my cart. And uh, there we go. A little Stroud. Love it. It's more just the fact of like. I don't know. Like I just opened up all those Caitlin Clark cards. And crunch time, I think, is a really cool and sick insert.
But if you pull like six, seven, eight from a case, it still is a cool looking insert. The value though, and the rarity of it just goes way down. So that's my thought is I love the downtown. It is one of my favorite inserts, one of my favorite case hits for sure. I hope they just didn't reprint them, but the only way that they didn't overprint is if they literally don't put any in hobby. That's that's literally the only way. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video because uh, we currently are getting actually kind of smoked in this video. So hopefully the whole downtown fiasco uh, kind of took you guys away from the actual me ripping the cards because we are getting smoked. Until we pull back. That's decent. We'll take a little tank down on the green. Velocity. So yes, again, Kelsey will be ripping this Friday night over on Whatnot. She'll be breaking a full case of Hobby Optic for you guys. So definitely jump in on that. Use our code down below. If you guys are still watching, I appreciate it. A lot of you guys hit me up with the tadpole. Appreciate you guys watching the entire video. It really does help a lot when you watch the full video. Make sure you do drop a like too, because that also helps and leave a comment as well. Final pack, let's either go downtown or green velocity. Okay, we are going out with a green velocity. I have yet to hit a Stroud green velocity. So that would be electric. If we could go out with a little Stroud right here, that would be insane. I don't hate the colors. Oh, I saw the D at the end. But it's our boy, Chad Ryland. And that is going to do it for the video, guys. I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. Let me know what you think on the downtown chaos with these cases, just pulling 20, 30 downtowns in a case. Kind of crazy, kind of nutty, um, but that's it. Uh, I'll have like one or two more videos this week probably that I'll film today, but uh, they won't be live, obviously. They won't be filmed the same day uh, because I will be in a tournament. So wish me luck. Appreciate you guys so much. I'll be back on Monday, uh, breaking with Kelsey on Monday. Hopefully she leaves some optic hobby. Hopefully you guys leave me some optic hobby. Uh, and she doesn't go through all of it on Friday night show and Sunday night show. But until then, guys, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Keep ripping them packs.